Hello everyone, my name is David Kohar, and this is an overview of our Net Promoter Score solution for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. We created this solution really to help our customers better track the MPS or Net Promoter Score process to calculate their scores and do some follow-up actions against them. So inside of CRM, of course, is going to start with our customers, our companies, and our contacts, and then we've created this additional MPS functionality where you can calculate your score, you can track your, that against your customer and your MPS rating, do follow-up actions, and then we've created some reporting both at the charting and dashboard level, as well as we've created an MPS report that actually does the MPS calculation for you. So let's go into CRM and have a look at how the MPS process works. So I'm logged in here to Microsoft Dynamics CRM and I'm now in the new MPS area of the application. I can see that there's been 26 surveys that have been completed so far. Right now I can see that by interviewer, the number of surveys that have been completed. I can also look at that by MPS category to see how many promoters and detractors I've had um, across the board, as well as I might want to see that by the actual score itself. If I want to drill into any one of these records, I'm going to open up this one here we did recently with Sharon Merle over at Holiday Travel. I can see, in fact, that we scored a, uh, a 10, or therefore a MPS category of promoter um, from Sharon. So that's fantastic news. I can see here some specific feedback that, um, that uh, Sharon gave us around our business. And so that's good information. But now, because she is uh, potentially such a promoter, we've actually created automatically an activity to follow up with, uh, with Sharon. Now, Laura did the actual interview with, um, with Sharon, but an activity has been created inside of CRM for the account director, David Kohar, to go and do a follow-up now with Sharon and find out maybe she will be interested in doing some sort of promotional activity to promote our business even further. As I come back to the actual MPS records themselves, I can also do some things like run a report against this whole list. And for those of you that have dove into the MPS process, know that there's actually a calculation behind uh, the MPS survey process. And so the calculation basically goes like this. You look at the number of promoters minus the number of detractors against the total score of surveys you have, and you calculate a score um, overall for how your business is doing. So here's all the calculations being done in the actual report itself. And then here's the baseline data that we're using to track against all that. Of course, I can actually export this out to a variety of different file formats um, if I want to use that further in some other analysis. So there's a quick overview of the MPS process and how it works. The final thing we do, of course, is we can also track this against one of our dashboards. We have those same charts that we want to see, and we can see them all here on the actual dashboard itself. If I want to blow it in one of these charts, I can easily do that and drill down on all of them. I can also see here, here's a list of all of the activities that have still have to happen. Some of them are, of course, follow-ups for our promoters uh, that we have within our organization or with our, within our customers within our organization. And some, of course, are the detractor follow-ups that we might want to do as well. And with that, I'd like to do a quick wrap-up. I want to thank you all for watching the video here today. If you have any questions around our MPS survey solution, please reach out to your account director at 0 to 10 directly. Thank you.